Good morning, Panthers. Welcome to another episode of Panther Pod, where we interview the campus's most requested people for your viewing entertainment. I'm your host, Max Ortiz, and your co-host is... Mauricio Aguilar. And today and our guest is Emmanuel Lara, the campus superstar. How are you doing today? Thank you. Good, good. Up, good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. So, so tell us a little bit about yourself. What I do here on campus mostly is help on JTown Update, a little bit in JMAC, just work at the camera. A mm, little bit about me, uh, free time. I like watching movies, and that's why I work the cameras. I also heard that on your free time, you uh, you enjoy a little bit of filming. What, what, what kind of filming do you do? Can you fill me in on that? All right. Well, for filming, mostly just do projects, either for uh, what's called Cherry Film, at the end of uh, video production classes every year, mm -hmm. do a little film mm -hmm. competition. Yeah. So, so what was the first film that you ever did in, yeah. in school? I, I I did a little background research on you, you know. I, well, I heard it's called Roommates. What what? Yes. Why is it called Roommates? And, and you what won is an about? award for it too. You won an yes, award. Won an award for it. This I, was I tied for that award actually. <laughs> and this was your freshman year, wasn't it? Yes, freshman. Pretty year. impressive. Freshman year, you already won the award. Mm -hmm. So, what was this film about? Well, Roommates was basically a parody of the film. What was it called? A Haunted House, mm -hmm. which is already a parody. Uh, paranormal activity. It's all so, parody of a parody. Yes, we had to do a parody of a parody. <laughs> and what, how did you come up with that idea? Were you just not original enough? Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> that and it was like the easiest uh, to recreate, basically, because paranormal activity is like what two cameras as all they use in the whole movie. Budget and you know and uh, budget fun, and budget. Fun fact: uh, I kind of starred in that, so I can yes. tell you a little bit about it. It was low budget. <laughs> <laughs> Want to tell them their, our budget for the film? <laughs> well, the budget for the film was a camera that his sister owned and uh, charity. <laughs> 99 cents for a fishing line. And a, f and a fishing line so we could spin a chair around. You know what, Emmanuel, do you know where, the, where, the, where these fine people can find the film? You know, shut yourself out real quick. Shout out Brian's channel. Oh, yes. You can find the video at, what was it? Again? It's, it's so, so cheesy, cheesy bro. It's so cheesy on YouTube. You can find it. Put it in the description. I'll be with on the thumbnail as a priest. Y, no? All our films. I mean, it. with a Z. A Z. That's we'll have it in the description. That's we'll a question for another day. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yes. So, you've worked on Roommates. Yeah. Is that the only film you've done? What other films have you done? No. Recently, last school year, we worked on oh, John, John Frankenstein. John Frankenstein. Yeah. Our biggest hit so far. Yep. Biggest budget we've had and everything. And it oh. wasn't even on... What now? Was it on like equipment and stuff? It was more oh, on. Yeah, it, it was <laughs> on the same camera that roommates was filled on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> same camera. Only we used only we flashlights used, in we this. Used flashlights mm -hmm. and an umbrella. And an umbrella. And water. And, and a lot of and a hose. And and a lot a of hose. hose. Mm -hmm. And we also had a lot more crew this time around. And yeah, uh, the biggest and project a, I've biggest worked project on done. yet. A prop we weren't supposed to break. <laughs> A lot of things are broken. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh! So well, we've we've talked about your award-winning film. We've mm -hmm. talked about the biggest film you've you've worked on. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the film that nobody really knows about. You mm -hmm. know the, the the film that didn't even get a mention in Cherry Film. Oh, are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Our let's make commercial this our honorable mention. Hey, a little <laughs> sneak this. Uh, it, it might have been because Mauricio was the star of that film. What? <clears throat> might oh, have been because yes. we our shot it in one day. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm just saying a coincidence. The one film that Mauricio, you know, is, is in there for longer than one scene, and just just happened to bomb. What? <laughs> yeah, no, I won a honorable mention award <laughs> for that <laughs> film. <That's> basically, <laughs> for that commercial award, right yeah, there. Yeah, basically. What are you looking at for outside high school? What What is your passion for filming? Is it going to persist through high school and, and even onwards, or is this just a high school thing? And when you get out of high school, you're you're done with it. Uh, well, I hope after high school, I still do this kind of stuff. But, yeah, like, so I hope, I know it's like, a, 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 what do you call it, long shot, basically. But I would hope one day to, like, direct movies outside of this. So do it as a living. Like, biggest dream That's for me. Dream job right yeah, there. for me, biggest dream possible is, like, directing the next yeah. Avengers movie or something yeah. big like that. I would a love big, to do that. You're a big Marvel mm -hmm. fan. So yeah. You, know, you want to yeah. do something in Marvel, I've heard. Yeah. Who, which director inspires you? Ooh. Like from their filmmaking and their way of doing certain things, what director do you look up to? That's a good one. Uh, probably Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino. Boy, Tarantino, seen, bro. He's just I've seen a lot of. Uh, I see not all of them, but I see most of his films, and I just like how he adds almost 
just edits like of just quick cuts and that's it there's no cgi there's nothing like that at all so it's practical it's practical mm -hmm. effects <clears throat> And that's pretty hard to get people entertained nowadays with just practical effects because, you know, you see a Marvel movie or, and you see all those explosions mm -hmm. and special effects. But you can watch a Quentin Tarantino movie and there's none of that. And it's just as interesting as an Avengers movie. A lot of the magic in the Tarantino movies is uh, the dialogue that he has. Oh, yeah. He always has just you don't even need to care about what they're doing. Just the way they talk. It's just. Yeah. You're like, yeah, I talk like that with my friend too. You know, <laughs> it's pretty, it's it, it's immersive. Mm -hmm. mm. So, do you have any upcoming film projects that you're thinking of? Any features you want on it? Anybody you want to be on it? Any, anything about it? What do you? What What is your aspiration <laughs> for, the, for your next film? Uh, well, the next one we're working. It's actually going to be for J Town, the J Town update, and that's going to be a a slasher Spoiler film. Spoiler mm -hmm. alert! Yeah, and that's going to come out <clears> probably <throat> by the end of this month. We should probably post a trailer then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the slasher film, uh, yeah. Who do you, who's starring in it? What's happening in it? What are you doing in it? Okay, so the slasher film is gonna have basically everyone that helps here in J Town Update. So that includes you two, two guys behind the camera, audio guy. Yeah, our audio guy is gonna be the the big the monster main, the main assailant. <laughs> yeah. So if you ever wonder who's doing audio on J-Town Up, they just look for the big guy in the movie. Yeah. And for the first time since Roommates, I'm going to be in it. Oh. So that's interesting. Yeah. Emmanuel's always been behind the camera. Mm -hmm. A little bit shy. Mm -hmm. So wh what's the movie about? What's the slasher? What's happening? Uh, still work in progress, but main storyline, someone gets bullied. Mm -hmm. Someone gets bullied. Come back as a spirit and just haunt the school. And that's so far very vague plan. Yeah, yeah. very interesting. <laughs> <That's> very interesting. <laughs> so we got so far, <laughs> and after the slasher film, not until May, we're gonna start working on kind of like a documentary for the oh, dance program. The the big dance that's coming up in May. 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 Yeah. Yeah, May. Two hundred dancers, I would right? Say more two, like a live show, like two. Uh, it's um, it's more of a live capture of the of of the show. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, with some uh, some 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 cheeky little America's Got Talent esque charm to it. Yeah, with paid audience and everything. <laughs> if we could pay the audience, we probably would. <laughs> so, what else, Emmanuel? Tell us, tell us what else you have planned. Uh, besides that. Oh yeah, we're all s hopefully. I'm hoping to enter Cherry Film again. Mm -hmm. Probably my last Cherry Film. Do hopefully you have any idea what you're gonna enter for Cherry Film? No, not yet, not yet at all. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> so planning to do one for a Cherry Film in a mm -hmm. year, and hopefully entering another contest outside of the school a film district. Festival, right? Yes, an actual one. I want where people care about what type of videos they make. You know, on on the topic of film, don't mind if I uh, shout myself out real quick. I'm thinking of starting a film club. <laughs> oh, yes. Shout out. Yeah, our we should. We're, we're thinking of starting a film club, as a matter of fact. So anybody watching the podcast that has an interest in film, has a, somewhat of a passion for it, or you just know mm -hmm. us and you want to chill with us and, you know. Help get, us make films. Help us make films. You don't even need to be in it. You, just, you can just be there and experience what we do. It's it's fun. It's a fun time. Yeah. I don't know when I'm going to start it, but if, if you just. It's just, in the works. Just, just ask me about it if you ever see me on the streets. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Students from all grades are welcomed, but serious inquiries only. Okay, Ooh. so now moving on to your biggest hit, mm -hmm. which was this year, mm -hmm. but last last school <laughs> year. <laughs> that was this year. It was this. But last year. <laughs> <laughs> it was this year. Mm -hmm. But like when you were in eleventh grade. Your junior year your film. Junior year, yeah. All right, talk about John. Talk about that one. John, John Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Apparently, a lot of people really like that one. A lot of teachers. Teachers fairly loved it. I don't know much about I, the students. I keep but forgetting to show it to like my cousins. Probably. They keep asking for it, but I'm always like, eh, I, I'll show you later, <laughs> and I always forget. How was yeah. that experience <laughs> filming that? Was it? Wasn't a lot of it filmed in your backyard? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what was the toughest thing to to like to handle? To handle with yeah. the crew being in your house, not breaking things. <laughs> there was at least six six people in my house at all times. Six everybody outside of your family <laughs> everybody was grabbing something messing around with I heard it one of the one of the cast members broke a giant metal pole <laughs> that yes. was rusting for 10 years <laughs> max ortiz okay. broke a pole in my no, backyard that hangs no. closed 
Mauricio Aguilar broke. No, ripped I a book oh, yeah, of no, mine. This book. That was from the school. To be honest, <laughs> that was not my fault. So what else about the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Keep staring at me like that. <laughs> 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 All right, so just ask me. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we gotta ask, ask me again about the freaking movie. What else about the movie? Oh man, two minutes. God damn. That was fast. Okay, come on. All right. What you got? So we've heard about your 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 award-winning film Cher- uh, at Cherry, mm-hmm. Roommates, mm-hmm. the so honorable mention uh, Coca-Cola advert, yeah, mm-hmm. Coca-Cola. Yeah. and uh, the biggest film yet, John Frankenstein. Yeah, we've heard about what you want to do when you get out of high school. Mm-hmm. So now let's talk about how you would inspire anyone who's watching this that likes to do film and would like to pursue it, even though you're not a professional or anything, just mm-hmm. as like a hobby. What what kind of advice would you give them as to how to have fun and just you know get the best out of what you're doing mm. no matter what the budget is mm-hmm. <clears throat> well if you're worried about your equipment it doesn't matter you have a phone it doesn't matter what quality it is having fun with it just make a film yeah just just mess around with it mess get around with it with together, your friends that's what roommates was it was just yeah. friends hanging out we liked it i enjoyed making it because i like making films so if anyone as that, long as you're doing it with people you like it's a fun time, no matter what. Yeah. Well, this has been another episode of Panther Pod. I'm your co-host, Mauricio Aguilar, and this was your host. Max Ortiz. And this was our special guest for today, Emmanuel Lara, who is a campus superstar and director for J-Town Update and mm-hmm. the Panther. The guy that pushes the button on the camera to record. Yes, that's mm-hmm. what I do. Yep. Nice to have Super you here, strong. man. Nice to have Thank you, Thank you for having man. me. We hope to see you again Thank by you. the end of the year. I would be, 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 be on the camera.